<coughs> what do you think? What do you think? <clears throat> what about the others? What do you think, Marina, Carlos? Okay, yes, that's right. Ah, uh, no, Marina, it should be I will, I will. Why? Because I'm talking about, I'm talking about a decision I made at the moment. You see, we use will for decisions that we make at the moment. Mm -hmm. So since it's a decision I made at the moment, I say, I'll go home now. Mm -hmm. I will go home now. You see? Now, yeah, me iré a casa ahora. I will go home now. Si ya es tarde, me iré a casa ahora. I'll go home now. You see? Ahora. Now, ahora. Okay, let's try another example. Mm -hmm. What do you think? <coughs> Static. Any other ideas? Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> okay. 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 Cuando damos una opinión basados en algo que podemos ver o en algo que podemos escuchar. Es decir, cuando tenemos evidencia, utilizamos point, ¿ok? ¿Sale? Entonces, como aquí estoy diciendo, oh, está bien nublado, está bien nublado, y estoy viendo, es decir, tengo evidencia, no lo estoy diciendo nada más porque yo lo crea, sino tengo evidencia, sería I think, going to rain. 
Ah, sorry, it's going. Yes. Okay. All right, let's try another. Will be any other idea? Yes, thank you, Julissa and Carlos. That's right. I think this year will be good. That's right. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's try one more, okay? What do you think here? Ah, sorry, sorry, sorry. Can you see it now? Okay, sorry. The only one correct is Carlos. Thank you, Carlos. It should be, I'm going. Mm -hmm. I'm going out with my friends. Why? Porque es un acuerdo, ¿verdad? Ya se pusieron de acuerdo. Ya se pusieron de acuerdo él y sus amigos en que van a salir y te está invitando. Mm -hmm. Cuando hablamos de un acuerdo, se utiliza presente continuo. Acuérdense de esto que vimos ahorita. Decisiones que hacemos al momento, will. Ofertas, promesas, peticiones, will. Opiniones sin pruebas, will. Decisiones planeadas en avance, going to. Opiniones con pruebas, going to. Aquí, perdón, 
y lo puse goito otra vez. Eh, intenciones. Going to. <coughs> Acuerdos. Present continuous. Uh -huh. Ok. Hay que acordarnos de esas, de cuándo se usa cada uno. Uh -huh. A veces decimos, es que se puede usar cualquiera. No, no se puede usar cualquiera. Cada uno es para algo diferente. Ok. Ok. Ok, one more time. Another. No. Any other ideas? I'm going to watch. Okay. <coughs> yes, that's correct. The answer should be, I'm going to watch. Thank you. Because it's my intention, right? I'm going to watch. It's my intention. Perfect. Mm -hmm. The last one, guys, because we need to we need to continue with today's class, okay? Um, let's see. Let's see. Okay, let's see this one.
Excellent, Yulisa. Excellent, Mariana. Yes, that's the answer. Because it's an offer, right? So you say, will you come? Will you come to the party with me? Mm -hmm. That's pretty good. Excellent. Thank you, Carlos, Yulisa, Mariana. Okay, we're going to continue. Today we have uh, other topic to see. And today we're going to talk about something different. Today we're going to talk about the use of another different topic, another different structure. And this is structures is the use of so and neither, either and to. Mm -hmm. Okay, here on the screen, you have a little brief explanation. We're going to read the explanation, and after we read the explanation, I'm also going to give you another explanation, okay? But first, let's see what it says right here. Mm -hmm. Okay, Mariana, in your case, Marina, sorry, that you're new, in your case, for example, in your computer, usually with my fingers, if you have a, your, your laptop with my fingers, I push on the screen, and I make it bigger or smaller like this. Bigger or smaller. I want to make it bigger, so I put it on the touchpad like this, and I make it bigger. Mm -hmm. Or if also you have like a mouse, you can scroll it. Lo puedes hacer así a la bolita del mouse para que se más grande. Okay? Or you can click on full screen. O puedes darle arriba en pantalla completa. Okay? Now, let's read this. It says, so do I and neither do I. Okay, let's read this. Okay, it says, I use so do I to say that, to say that I, a positive sentence is also true for me. And I use neither to say that a negative sentence is also true for me. For example, John hate mushrooms. So do I. I also hate mushrooms. Lucy don't live in London. Neither do I. I also don't live in London. For example, maybe Lucy and I both live in Paris. Mm -hmm. So you say, you see, we use so when it's something affirmative and we use neither when it's something negative. Okay? All right. This is often used as a reply to someone else in a conversation. But both sentences can also be said in the same, by the same person and even joined together. For example, Elizabeth loves coffee. So do I. Harry doesn't play the piano. And neither do I. Mm -hmm. You see? Okay, next one. Mm -hmm. in, me, in my examples above, I use do because the first sentence is in the present simple tense. The verb after so or neither changes depending the te on the tense of the verbs and the first sentence. This is very similar to the questions mm -hmm. we have, examples. Present simple. For present simple, I use do or does. Example, Lucy likes coffee, so do I. Lucy doesn't like coffee, neither do I. Mm -hmm. Present simple with a verb be, use am, is, or are. Example, John's at the office, so am I. John isn't at the office. Neither am I. Mm -hmm. Present continuous. Use am, is, or are. Luke's going out tonight. So am I. Luke isn't going out tonight. Neither am I. Past simple. Use did. Gio went to the cinema yesterday. So did I. Gio didn't go to the cinema yesterday. Neither did I. Past simple would be, use was or were. Example, he was at the library, so was I. She wasn't at the library, neither was I. 
present perfect use uh use have or has example they've been to colombia so have i they haven't been to colombia neither have i future simple will either will be at the cafe later so will i either won't be at the cafe later neither will i model verbs repeat the model verbs he would like a cup of tea so would i he wouldn't like a cup of tea, neither would I. Emma can't speak Russian, so can I. Emma can't speak Russian, neither can I. Okay? All right. Let's summarize this. Mm -hmm. Okay. We use so, mm -hmm. we, we want to say something affirmative. We want to say something affirmative. Mm -hmm. We use it with the same auxiliaries. For example, the auxiliary for simple present is simple present, right? So if I say, I like mm -hmm, pasta, I like pasta, mm -hmm. I like pasta, Say, I like pasta, me gusta la pasta, right? And if you want to say, a mí también, you say, so do I. So do I. A mí también. So do I. Okay. If you want to say, a Carlos también, you say, different. You say, so does Carlos. Because Carlos doesn't go what do, it go with does. So as you can see, for this one, what we need to do is that we use so. <clears throat> after so, we use the auxiliary. And after the auxiliary verb, we use the person. Mm -hmm. This is the way we work. So, auxiliary, person. The auxiliary is in affirmative, okay? If you don't use simple present, if you use another statement, if you use the verb to be, then the auxiliary should be the verb to be. For example, I am happy, mm -hmm. so she, so is she. Yo soy feliz. Ella también, so is she. Mm -hmm. So, auxiliary person. So am I, good. So am I, thank you, Marina. Mm -hmm. On the other side, we have neither. We use neither when we talk about negative statements. Mm -hmm. We talk about negative statements. We use neither. We use the auxiliary, but the auxiliary goes in negative. Mm -hmm. And then we use the person. <coughs> mm -hmm. We use it like that. Neither auxiliary in negative form and then the person, right? We might say something like this. Mm -hmm. Negative. We might say something like this, for example, I don't play sports, neither do I. Neither do I, sorry, the auxiliary is not a negative, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. Um, I just wanted to say that it's negative, but it's not a negative auxiliary, okay? Sorry. No, 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 no it's not a negative, I corrected it. Sorry, Marina, sorry. Yes, it's for negative, but it's not a negative auxiliary. Mm -hmm. The auxiliary is not in negative. Sorry. Mm -hmm. Okay? All right. If I use another auxiliary, for example, if I say it in past, I might use a past auxiliary. For example, I didn't like the movie. Uh -huh. And you say, neither. Did I? 
Yes, the auxiliary goes in affirmative. Mm -hmm. All auxiliaries for neither go in affirmative. Okay, very good. So this is so and this is neither. Okay, very good. Now, let's see the other part. We have another part right here. What about to and either? We can also use I do too and I don't either, which means the same as so do I and neither do I. For example, I hate mushrooms. I do too. I don't live in London. I don't either. Mm -hmm. The verb changes in the same way with so do I and either do I. Remember, you need a negative verb with either. With either, we do have a negative auxiliar. For example, present simple. John's at the office, I am too. Present continuous. Luke isn't out tonight. I'm not either. Isn't going out tonight, sorry. Present perfect, they've been to Colombia. I have to. Modal verse, Emma can't speak Russian. I can't either. Mm -hmm. Okay? So, in the case of two, and in the case of either, it's a little bit different because so and neither go at the beginning of the sentence. You see? So do I. Neither do I. But two doesn't go at the beginning of the sentence. Two goes at the end of the sentence, not at the beginning, at the end. So the first thing we use is the person, then the auxiliary, and then two when we say an affirmative form. For example, I am happy. Mm -hmm. I am too. So feliz, yo también. Mm -hmm. Or you can say, I didn't play. No, sorry. <laughs> I played soccer. I did too. Mm -hmm. So we use it like that. Mm -hmm. Person, auxiliary, two. Mm -hmm. When we use either, in the case of either, well, for the case of either, the auxiliary goes in negative. In this case, yes, the auxiliary goes in negative. We use the person, then we use the negative auxiliary, and then we use either. Example. I didn't go. I didn't either. Mm -hmm. You see? Person, negative auxiliar, either. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Sorry. <coughs> Another can be. I wasn't home. I wasn't either. Mm -hmm. That's the way we do it. You see? Okay. So far, so good. Okay. more or less okay we're going to make a synthesis in a little bit okay it says of course we can also use the expressions to talk about what's true for people sorry 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 we're right here me too and me neither we can also use me too and me neither me too has the same meaning as so auxiliary bear i and me neither has the same meaning as neither auxiliary bear i me too and me neither are very informal. So, 
these forms that we are talking about today are formal English. For informal English, you say, me too. For example, you say, I want a coffee, me too. That is informal. You say, I want a coffee, so do I. That is formal. You see? We have some other examples here. I hate mushrooms. Me too. Lucy don't live in London. Me neither. Mm -hmm. Subjects others than I. Of course, we can also use these expressions to talk about what's true for other people, not just ourselves. You can say, I have more friends, so does Laura. Laura last two. Laura two. I don't mean London. Neither does David. David doesn't either. David neither. Mm -hmm. We have other examples. We live in London and so do they. Emma loves the tennis. Jill and Laura do too. My parents don't come here often. Neither does Alex. She is in French and neither is he. You don't like cold weather. Neither do we. Mm -hmm. Okay. So let's wrap this up. Let's grab this up. Vamos a sintetizar, okay? So when we want to say yo también in English, I can say it, para decir yo también, tú también, etc. In English, I can say it by using so or to, right? I can say so or I can say to. I use so at the beginning of the sentence mm -hmm. and I use to at the end of the sentence. Mm -hmm. I use so the auxiliary the person to say yo también or I can say person auxiliary to. It means the same, significa lo mismo, yo también. Formal English, okay? All right, to say tampoco, we use neither, and we also use either, tampoco, right? I use neither at the beginning of the sentence, neither, then I say the auxiliary, and then I say the person, and use either at the end of the sentence. like this. Mm -hmm. So far, so good. For either, the auxiliary is negative. For neither is affirmative. Para either, usamos auxiliares negativos. Okay? Let's write this. Let me see what can we practice. No. Let me see another one. Okay, let's start with this. Vamos a empezar con esto. Mm -hmm. Look at this. Fíjense en esto. Mm -hmm. You have some the sentences. De un lado tenemos unas oraciones. And the other side, y del otro lado, we have um, the responses, tenemos las respuestas, okay? So you need to match them. For example, number one, she has gone home. Ella se ha ido a casa. What do you think should be the answer? ¿Cuál creen que sea la respuesta?
Only that answer, no other idea. Okay, 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 okay. <coughs> All right, a ver, dice, she has gone home, okay? So we know the auxiliary is has, right? Okay, pretty good. Now, is this a negative or an affirmative statement? It's an affirmative statement. For affirmative statement, do we use neither or so? Do we use either or to? What do we use for affirmative? Neither either or so to? Ah, we use so or to, so we don't use neither. Okay, so. We need to look for one that has so or two, right? And that also has the auxiliary have or has. So neither has she is not correct because it's negative statement. We will too is not correct because will is not the correct auxiliary. So does he? No. I didn't either? No. Neither is he? No. So did I? No. What is the correct one? They have to. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. Yes, they have to. Excellent, thank you. What about the number two? We need help. What is the answer? Any other idea? <coughs> yes, so does he. Because it's we need help. We need, right? Need, right? So since it's need, we use does. Next one. I don't remember. What is the answer? Yes, he doesn't either. Very good. Next one, you forgot the gift.
Yes, so it I. Mm -hmm. Next, he didn't watch the match. I didn't either. Very good. They haven't trapped, they haven't arrived. Neither has she. Very good. You're studying economics. So are we. Very good. I'm not working tonight. Neither is she. Yes, that's right. Mm -hmm. And the last one, he'll come by eight. We will do perfect. That's good, everyone. Very good. Let's do the next activity, okay? Let's do the next activity. Mm -hmm. <coughs> In this activity, mm -hmm, we have mm -hmm, some uh, phrases. Mm -hmm. Okay, I want you to read the phrase and I want you to answer, but I will tell you what to answer. The number one says, Sarah loves chocolate. Answer with salt. With salt. How will it be with salt? With salt. Can you answer? With so, thank you. Very good. Very good. Thank you, Marina. Thank you. Good job. Mm -hmm. Number two, I can't play the piano. Answer with neither. Neither. Neither can I. Good job. Catherine is English. Answer with two. Well, I said to thank you. Uh, she isn't coming to the party. Answer with either. <clears throat> mm -hmm. 
No, that is not correct. I am either is not correct. Mm -mm. No, it's not correct because we don't use I am either. No, 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 with either. How should it be with either? ¿Cómo sería con either? How would you do it with either? No, 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 no. Either. How do you answer number four with either? Answer number four with either. Your answer was not correct. Hello. No, that's not correct. Either. When we use either, the auxiliary is negative or positive. Sorry, affirmative or negative? Negative, the auxiliary is negative. You should say, I am not either. So I am not. Yes, that's correct, Marina. I am not either. Mm -hmm. Okay, now number five with two. Answer number five with two. Excellent. Answer number six with so. Not correct. It's not correct. Check it out. Fíjense bien. I have to study is not present perfect. I have to study is not present perfect. I do I. Mm. 
with so, with so. <clears throat> yes, Marina, so do I, very good. Number seven, Dan lives in Madrid with two. I do too, thank you. Number eight, she doesn't have any brothers with neither. Very good, neither do I. Yes, neither do I. Thank you. Number nine, I've been to Mexico with so. So I have, no, so have I, the way Marina did it. So have I, primero va el so, then the auxiliary, and then the person. So have I, okay? Number 10, I'm going home now. Well, two. With two, everyone. <clears throat> I am two. Very good. Next one. Mm, I didn't pass the exam with either. I didn't either. Very good. Very good. It says, uh, mm -hmm. she hasn't brought her laptop with neither. No. Is the number uh, 12, number 12. Neither have I. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Next one, David is living in Mumbai. What? So, <clears throat> so am I, yes, yes, very good. Next one, mm, um, uh, John one to Ah, oh, Joe went to the lecture 
with two. Yes, we are in number 14. No, it's not negative. It's, uh... oh, yes, yeah, sorry. John one, David is even Yes, thank you. It's the number 14 is negative. Yes, it's negative. Yes. I said to right, I'm ready, sorry. Then it would be with neither. Is that I saw went instead of want, sorry. Okay, next says, um, I'm studying, no, number 15, I'm not an engineer, well, neither will I, yes, thank you, Marina, next one with either, Marina. I'm not either. Perfect. John went to the lecture with two. I did too. Yes. I'm studying Spanish at the moment. With so, so am I. Yes, I like a cup of coffee with two. No, because the auxiliary is, I would like a cup of coffee. Yes, so how should it be with wood? I would too, yes. And then John wouldn't drive in the snow with either I wouldn't either and Emma can speak French with so the last one Okay, perfect. Wow, Marina. Good job. You did it pretty well. Excellent. Okay. Let's try another activity, okay? This activity is different. Mm -hmm. In this activity, 
you need to write the previous sentence. For example, so did they. What can you say before so did they? Well, I don't know. Probably you can say, Ma I went to the movies. Any answer? So did they. Mm -hmm. Can you continue? Can you do number two, three, four, five, six, and seven, and eight? What can you say for number two? Whatever. It's up to you. You decide. Yes, Julissa, tell me your question. I don't know. What do you think? The number two. It says you have to. Is it the present perfect or is it the verb has in simple present. You tell me. No. Yes, it is the present perfect. So we need to make a sentence with the present perfect. For example, Mariana wrote, my mother has a pen. Is that correct? No, it's not correct. Because when you say, my mother has a pen, it means, mi mama tiene. And that is in the simple present, not in the present perfect. Can you, Julissa, give me an idea of the present perfect? How can it be in the present perfect?
she has cleaned her room. Mm. Something is missing in your sentence, Ma, Ma, Julissa, sorry. Something is missing in your sentence. You have one mistake. Okay, no? The mistake is she has clean. Clean needs to be in past participle, right? So the number two needs to be in past participle in the uh, auxiliary half. So for example, she has cleaned her room. What about the number three? Can you guys help me with the number three? Number two, we have been studying English. Very good, Marina. Yes. What about number three? Can you guys help me with number three? So guys, what about number three? What do you have? Excellent. Very good, Julissa. Yes, that's right. Good job. Can you, Julissa, do number four? Can and the others? Do you guys have other ideas for number three? Laura hasn't made a cake, neither has he. Very good, Marina. What about the number four, everyone? I can understand this topic. I can't either. Very good. Thank you, Yulisa. What about the number five? But you seem to understand it very well. I can't begin my homework, okay? 
can't either. Okay, what about the number five? They are in the house. We are too. We are swimming in the river. We are too. Very good. What about number six? I'm not being the boss, neither are you. Good, Julissa, good job. Number seven, Julissa, what do you think? I will cook pizza. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I will cook pizza. Mm -hmm. So we, and the last one, he didn't either. Number seven, they will buy books, so we we very good. And the number eight. They didn't the homework, she didn't either. Okay, you listen. In the last one, you have one mistake. Te falta una palabra. Check it out. Revisala bien. They didn't do the homework, she didn't either. Yes. Marina, Carlos, are you sending any more answers? No, no, no more answers, Carlos. That's very bad, Carlos. You almost didn't send any answers. <laughs> I didn't begin my homework. She didn't either. Okay, Marina. <clears throat> Thank you, everyone. So. It's easy, right? It's not difficult, okay? For homework, mm -hmm. <coughs> you're going to do another activity that is this activity. Mm -hmm. I'll send it to your mails for homework. You have the sentence and you need to say in the first one, the two options, for example, the number one says, he is my friend. So you need to say the two options, you can say, so is she, for example, and in the other line, you say, 
g is 2. Mm -hmm. The two examples, with so, with do, with neither, and with either. Okay? Oh, my goodness. So that's what you guys are going to do for homework. Okay? Well, so it seems that this topic was not that difficult for you. Hopefully, you can do the homework pretty well. Is there any question up to here? <coughs> no? No. Excellent. That's good that you guys don't have any questions. Then we're going to stop right here, and we're going to continue on Friday. I'll send you the homework.